Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with a Redis database with the help of Python programming language. So go to redis.io and you will find a respective download link for your operating system. If you have Windows operating system, then simply go to MS OpenTech GitHub page and find Redis. And from there, you can find latest release and download the installer for Windows. Okay, once you download that, simply go to your command prompt and type in pip install redis. Okay, if you want to use easy underscore install, then you can simply type in easy underscore install redis and hit enter. This should start the installation process for redis package for your Python installation. And once you have it installed, simply type in Python on your command prompt. This should open Python interpreter. And after that, we are going to import Redis. Type in import Redis and this should return you the prompt. If it doesn't and it returns error, that means package is not installed. After that, simply type in r underscore server equals to reduce then capital r reduce then call for local host this should connect you to the local host address of reduce service okay so if there are any issues and if it doesn't return then you have to type that particular ip address now type in r server set inside that bracket type in name and then type in your name this should return true and then underscore server get and then type in small name this should return you the value so with reduce you'll find that you are simply working with key and value pair you can also work with let's say integers so in case of integers let's start by typing in r underscore server set here i'm going to use key name counter or you can use count and then give it value one okay now r underscore server dot incr to increment that and type in count which will increment to two and then we will again use increment and now i'm going to use r underscore server decr and here i'm going to type in count again which will decrement for that value and then r underscore server dot get and then you use count to see what's the final value which is two okay now we have used string to set name we also used integer for incrementing and decrementing count now let's also use list there are plenty of things that you can use and access from your redis database so let's start with that underscore server dot let's say r push to push uh, into a list that is named as let's say nums so nums will be list of numbers and i'm starting from one okay so there is one then r underscore server dot r push then nums to okay simply add a few more so that you have plenty to go through okay you have total three you can also add one more make it four so from index zero to index three you have these values one two three and four now 
what we will do is we will check the length of this list by using r underscore server l len which is list length and type in nums okay okay it shows you four zero one two three so from index zero to index three total four and now i'm also going to check r underscore server list index and for that however i'm going to specifically give it that index so type in nums and let's say it's zero one two so i want three value to print so i'm going to give it two okay and it shows me the value three right here so in short tutorial we have seen how to download and install redis package for python then how to connect to redis server also work with strings and also shown you how to work with integers and finally i shown you how to work with list so now you know how to use python to interact with redis database